We are the people that can never stick to long-term stuff, right? I mean, we get inspired for something on one day, may decide to turn our whole lives around on the next, and two days later, we can be found eating pizza and watching Netflix again like nothing ever happened. Welcome back guys to ADHD Vision where you can learn how to use ADHD to your advantage. So if you have ADHD, why don't you consider subscribing and ringing the bell to not miss out on any more helpful content. Michael Phelps, Richard Branson, Simone Biles, Michael Jordan, and David Goggins. That's a list of just a few ADHD celebrities who have managed to reach the pinnacle of success in their fields. But how do they do it? In this video, I will let you in on their secret, my personal two-year experience implementing the secret and how you can use that information to pursue your own dreams. So stay tuned, guys. Now, before we start, if you like what I'm wearing, there's more where that came from. For a limited time, guys, you can get 20% off on all of the Advantage merch with the code ADHDVision. So be sure not to miss out on that. Link is on the top right. Also, I will be announcing something very special that can help, I think, every single one of you at the end of this video, so be sure to stick around until the end. Now, let's jump into the video. Almost all successful people with ADHD have one thing in common. They are self-disciplined about whatever it is that they want to accomplish. Michael Phelps himself has said that what separates athletes at their elite is their mental game, which he has mastered by putting in 25 to 30 hours of weight training every week. Richard Branson swears on his to-do lists where he jots down everything that could help him achieve his goals. And if self-discipline had a father, it would probably be David Goggins. It's in the hobby, it's in the fucking joke, it's a fucking lifestyle. Now, self-discipline is a term that is overused nowadays, so let's clear it up before jumping into it. Being self-disciplined, guys, is about more than just being able to hold off on eating that pizza. It's about being able to achieve your long-term goals, like getting fit, getting healthy, getting that degree you have always wanted, and just overall, being able to win that battle against your mind, giving you the power to shape your life the way you want. And once you have mastered self-discipline, it's a lifestyle that can just keep on giving. The reason for why I believe developing self-discipline for people who have ADHD is so worthwhile is because we are the people that can never stick to long-term stuff, right? I mean, we get inspired for something on one day, may decide to turn our whole lives around on the next, and two days later, we can be found eating pizza and watching Netflix again like nothing ever happened. I'm the dude, so that's what you call me, you know? Uh, that or uh, his dudeness or uh, duder or, uh, you know, El Duderino if you're not into the whole brevity thing. This is why self-discipline is the first building block and therefore I believe the secret for becoming successful in your ADHD life. However, as we all know, having ADHD and being self-disciplined don't always go hand in hand. This is because being self-disciplined means that you are able to wait or hold off on short-term pleasures because you have some long-term goal in mind, which because of our lack of dopamine in our brain and our need for instant feedback and gratification can be a lot more difficult for us than for others. So how do we do it? Before we get into all of that, I just want to quickly remind you guys that less of 10% of you are actually subscribed. So, you know, I post monthly and sometimes even weekly self-help guides. So if you have ADHD, I would highly recommend actually subscribing and clicking that little bell icon. If that bell icon is not on, you will probably miss out on new uploads. The first step to becoming self-disciplined, to be able to reach all your goals, is realizing that even though it's more difficult for us, it can be done. I for one have done it, but since I don't only want to reference myself here, let's take a look at a more prominent example. In his new book, Can't Hurt Me, David Goggins, who is probably the most self-disciplined man on earth, admitted to having ADD, and in his book, which I listened to in hyperfocus mode all the way through, by the way, he mentioned that he was able to lose 106 pounds within three months, which he had to do in order to qualify for a military camp, which is absolutely insane. Now, what we can learn from looking at the situation there is to lose the weight, he had a clear-cut goal with a time limit in mind, right? Three months, 106 pounds. Clear. This takes us to the next step of self-discipline. If you are serious about making your dreams come true, similarly to David Goggins, you must sketch out long-term plans which involve achievable short-term goals. For example, let's say I wanted to buy a house and my long-term goal would be make $100,000. Assuming I started at zero, that goal would feel really far away and my ADHD brain would probably find every excuse in the book for why I should stop pursuing it as soon as possible. However, 
If I set short-term monthly goals, like saving a specific amount of money every month, that would already be a lot more motivating. You have to understand that whenever we reach and are able to tick off one of our goals, our brain releases dopamine, which will cause us to want to repeat that behavior again and again, which basically means the more goals you set, the better. So if you can break down your goal into small achievable daily tasks, that's going to feel really rewarding and will heighten the probability of you achieving your long-term end goal. Something that also helps, especially because with ADHD, it's just always so hard to actually get started, is to set time limit on your tasks. Put that timer in front of you and you have a deadline that your brain will just love to beat. Now, another small tip that I can give is to identify what it is that you are dreading to do the most on any specific day. Once you know what that is, eat the frog. Do that thing first thing in the morning. This is because you simply have the most energy right after waking up and completing the thing that you are dreading to do the most right in the beginning will give you a sense of achievement and momentum when starting into your day that will just help you tackle everything else that's lined up in front of you. Also, since our brains can get easily bored by repetitive behavior, try to switch up your goal achieving activities. So for example, instead of following the same workout routine every day, try switching it up with different exercises every few months. This will most definitely help to keep you going. But setting goals should always come after guys, after having identified what it actually is that we wanna set that goal for, right? I mean, after all, what's the point in reaching a goal where halfway through, you realize that it wasn't worth the effort. This is why it is imperative to engage into soul searching and intensive introspection before you set your long-term goals. Once you start working on something that actually interests you, especially for your ADHD, this will make the whole journey to your goal a hundred times easier. This is because research has shown that once we work on something that inherently interests us, not because someone told us to, but because we are actually interested and deep down there's something driving us towards this thing, the chemistry of our brain changes instantly. We then usually engage into hyper-focus mode and don't even realize how much time flew by once we complete whatever we needed to complete. Now, if you're not sure what you're interested in, don't worry, I've been there. A good test might be to ask yourself at what times and in what topics you engage into hyper-focus. This is usually where the answer lies and once you find that out, you will realize that the answer was most probably staring you right in the face this whole time. Are you eyeballing me with those baby blues? Are you? Something else to mention is that if you are just starting out on your ADHD self-discipline journey, take baby steps. This is because we are notorious for wanting to get to the peak of the mountain in our first climb. But this just isn't realistic. Now, I'm sorry for being cheesy here in advance, but you have to realize that you will have setbacks. And just like Rocky Balboa, you will get knocked right back down at times. The difference between winners and losers is about who actually gets back up. That is when, since your self-discipline can be imagined like a muscle, it will grow and you will too. Personally, I have been working out for over seven years now and I've only now, over the past year, been able to consistently actually put in six to seven days of workouts a week. Whatever your goal is, make sure to take deserved rest days and to credit yourself along the way. Reaching a goal is never easy and you deserve to be happy and enjoy the journey rather than be miserable and not have any mental energy left to have fun. Now, as promised, for everyone who stuck around until the end, I have a little surprise for you. Because of our problems with disorganization, procrastination, and motivation, in the spirit of this video, I have made it my mission to produce an ADHD journal for and from the ADHD community, from you guys. This journal will feature weekly motivational advice from people with ADHD, life hacks, funny content, and memes, all the while helping keep track of all your goals. I'm gonna be producing one new page every single week that is inspired by you guys. So if you leave your page suggestions either down below or DM me on Instagram every week, I will be making a top three poll asking you guys which page you want to have featured. This way, the journal should be completed in about six months time. That is my long-term goal. And my short-term goal is to have one page completed every single week. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you're someone who wants to start or you know maybe already has um, used ADHD to their advantage, I'm sure you have. 
be sure to get yourself the merch on the top right. And while you're at it, why not check out these related videos if you haven't already. I will see you again in a few weeks. Till next time, guys.